What's up, powerful people? My name is Eli, aka Superkid, aka Clint Swift, aka the man in the zebra print headband, aka Mama There Goes That Man in the Zebra Print Headband. Shout out to Mark Jackson, and I am here to welcome you to episode two of the Pokemon Sword Babies Only Challenge. What is going on, powerful people? Hopefully you're all doing well, staying safe, staying healthy, at least to the extent that we can control. Um, if you're excited for this video, and I know that I am, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the bell icon. Uh, these things definitely help us out here at the channel, and as always, leave any and all comments you have for me down in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. I know this is the very beginning of the episode, but that doesn't mean that you might not have something to say. I don't know. Anywho. Okay, in this episode, we are about to go begin our gym challenge. Uh, we just... In the last episode, I'm sure you remember, we finished up fighting Team Yell. And now we're going to register in the hotel here, the Bud Dude Drop-In. Bud Dude, of course, is a member of our team, an esteemed member of our squadron. Okay, powerful people. Look at Hop. Hard at work on his pitch. <laughs> his pitching motion. Today is the day that his, his legend truly begins, I guess. That's exciting for him. wonder when our legend will begin, powerful people. Is there anything to be found in here? Gym fat challenge is finally starting. That's right. Oh, before I go to the gym challenge, if this is possible, I might not have the opportunity to do it. And I know I don't have to fight in the gym challenge yet. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. No. I want to do this real quick first. Thank you, sir. I want to go see if I can get a uh, different move on Toxel. I think he can learn it from this guy in the Pokemon Center. So let's check that out real quick. I want him to know Belch. Because that would be great. Remember a move. Which Pokemon shall I have learned? I remember a move. Diocletian. I want Belch, yeah. Um, and I will get rid of... Hmm, I'll get rid of Acid. Crazy as that might sound. <laughs> I just want that. Alright, cool. Now Diocletian knows Belch. It's a really strong move. 120... Base power, I think. Um, so we shall see. Let's, what, how does it even work, actually? Let's check that out real quick, huh? Oh! You picked up a potion. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's check your summary. I wonder when that happened. Whoops. Wrong Pokemon. The user lets out a damaging belch at the target. The user must eat a held berry to use this move. Does, so does it make him eat the berry, or does he have to have already eaten it and then he can use it? I'm confused. I guess we'll find out. Um, how exciting this must be for all the entrants in the gym challenge. Uh, look at this place, man. Bigger than anything in post -hook, that's for darn sure. What's up, dude? Challenger Clint Swift, wasn't it? That's right. I wish you could wear a different uniform in the fights, in the gym battles. Like, once I beat a gym leader, I get their clothes, right? Like, their outfit. I wish I could wear that in the... in the battles. But I cannot, sadly. Looking sharp as a pin. Thanks, dude. Thanks, guy wearing sunglasses inside. What, do I take fashion advice from you, dude? You have, like, a visor on or something? Look at Chairman Rose. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rose, Chairman of the Pokemon League. Uh, I didn't see what he said there, because I looked away from the screen for a moment. And now I'm just lost. It's my pleasure to announce that finally the gallery. Ooh, what? Hey, look, Munchlax. What's up, dog? It's not our Munchlax. 
Not at all. But it is a Munchlax. It was. It's not on the screen anymore, but I guess it's still there. I don't know how that... How does that apply to something that's not real? Is the model still being rendered? Or was it? I don't know. You know what I'm saying, powerful people. And if you don't, don't worry, because it's mostly made up nonsense. Now you'd like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. But where are they? Oh. Dude is uh, pretty vain, but he has some cool shoes. I'll give him that. I like Raihan's shoes. The fighting farmer. Here's the grass type expert, Milo. The raging wave. It's the master of water types, Nessa. The ever burning man of fire. Here comes. The fire type veteran, Kabu. The Galar Karate Prodigy. Nothing better that nothing nobody's better with fighting types than B. The master of fantastic theater. It's the charming fairy type user, Opal. Charming? I don't know about that. The hard rock crusher. Please welcome the rock type master, Gordy. And last but not least, the tamer of dragons. It's Raihan, the top gym leader. Unfortunately, we're missing one, but. These are the Galar, <laughs> the gym leaders that we in the Galar region, whoops, call our own? Is that what he said? I didn't catch it. I did my best there, powerful people. Did my absolute best. Alright, here we come. Out of this tunnel, it takes a while. Look at how bright the lights are. It's overwhelming to our young hero. Wow, he's thinking. He's me. Kind of. I don't know. He's younger than me. Get a little slurp of my coffee here, powerful people. Hop enjoyed himself. Good for Hop. He made it last, Hop, and you too, Clint Swift. Pretty observant. Dynamax band. Oh, it was your company that invented those Dynamax pants. Thanks, dog. Best of luck to both of you. Thanks, dude. That guy's pretty weird. We need to train ourselves, too. I mean, that's true. Who doesn't, though? First is in Turf Field. Let's head down Route 3 and get over there. Sound good to you, powerful people? Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Pass through Route 3 and beyond in order to reach Turffield now. Next. Not now, next. <laughs> Challenger Clint Swift, the chairman, asked me to deliver this gift to you. What is it? Oh. Flying taxis. Okay. Thanks. I agree, you should go on your own two legs when going somewhere for the first time. Thanks, everybody. That's actually pretty cool. I like how everybody's, like, cheering you on and stuff. This game appears to have, like, done the most to explain why, or, like, what exactly is going on with the people leaving, with the kids, like, leaving and all that. There you are, I've been waiting. Let's have a battle, you and me. We'll get in a bit of training. All right. I knew you'd be up for it. We've got to stay keener than anyone else. If we want to steal the spotlight from our rivals. I thought you and I were rivals. Whatever. I guess he means the other people. Out comes Wooly. I guess I could switch uh, somebody else into the front. Might be a good idea to uh, train up the rest of our squad, even the ones that aren't are on the team at the moment. Um, but I don't know. I guess we'll see on that one. I'll go for a Thundershot. Not bad. Wolu we'll uses Tackle. Dang, Sporkita's uh, defense is not uh, great. I'll put it that way. I'll go for a Sweet Kiss. Confusion. Confuse you. There she is. Posing Wolu is confused, but it still managed to use Growl. Well, that's just great. 
I'll go for another Thundershot. Maybe you'll be fully paralyzed this turn. Who knows? Maybe you'll hit yourself in confusion. Nope, neither. Okay. Instead you get a crit. Well, I guess I have to flail on you. I guess that's what has to happen. Hit yourself. Hey! Look at that. How perfectly did that work out, Barbara people? Whoa. Everybody's getting in on the fun. Uh, nah. I'm good. Good without Nuzzle. Yes. Just where he is. How'd he go to? How'd he go wants to learn counter? Um... How about I get rid of Endure for counter? How about that? Sounds good to me. I'm about to send in Grookey. Yeah, I'll switch to... Diocletian. Let's see how this Belch move works. Pop sent out Grookey. Try it. Okay, so it has to eat the berry first. That that makes that's fine. That's fine. Goes for scratch. No problem there. Go for a power up punch and raise our attack. Basically, okay. You know, power up punch is an attack, right? Still, still can use it. That's fine, dude. That's fine. Go for another... Oh! Do you not have any offensive moves? Or what? What's the deal here? You just afraid of my power-up punch? Goes for another scratch. Not quite enough to use it to pop the, uh, Orenberry. That's okay. Shook off the taunt. That's what I'm talking about. True taste of our power. Our green power just keeps on growing stronger. Branch poke. Yeah, I didn't think it would do that much. You're paralyzed, and I'm gonna eat my berry. Excellent. Excellent. And down goes Grookey, probably. I can use Belch on the next Pokemon. Which I think is a... Rookity? Rookity? Rookity. I think it's Rookity. Yeah! No, I'm good, dog. I'm chillin'. It's just gonna make the, vic the victory that much better, huh? Well, I don't know, man. Hey, Too nervous to eat berries now, but I already did it. Peck! Didn't barely hurt me at all. Boom! <laughs> that was crazy! Uh, that was cool. I dug that. Can I use it again? I guess so. Wow, that move is really awesome. Oh, he avoided it. Is that just cuz or what? It has 90 accuracy. Let's see if it works again. I don't know. I'm curious about that now. I've never really used Belch. Shockingly. This guy gets paralyzed as well. Now, is this gonna hit you? Alright, man. Dude, that move is crazy good. Well, I didn't even know about that move. I'm glad to be decided to, uh... to use... berries in this series. That was a really big added bonus. Totally didn't know about that. But we defeated Pokemon Trainer Hop. Hey, man, not bad. I think I am gonna switch the team up a little bit. I wanna, I wanna spread the experience around a little. Thanks, dude. Get one of your league cards. Oh, I should uh, customize the league card, shouldn't I, powerful people? Um. Oh, I can just do it from here. Duh. Let's see. I kind of want to check... Oh, I have Hustle? Seriously? Let's see. Uh, what does Hustle do, exactly? That might 
really stink. Boost attack but lowers accuracy. Okay, it's not like klutz where you or clumsy or whatever it's called where you can't have a held item. That would be no bueno. I think I will switch Toga Peter for Rosie. And maybe Disquarius I'll switch for How about How about Mantike for now? Get Scout and Toga Peter out on the team. Oh, and I guess I'll heal. That's another thing you can do at the Pokemon Center. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. I don't know if you powerful people could hear that. I just took my sweatshirt off while that was while I was healing. Holy macaroni, it got really warm in here all of a sudden. Um, so let's give you another berry. Just make sure everybody's all stocked up right now. Yes, thank you. Just real quick. Whoops. I know it's not going real quick, or at least it doesn't feel like it to me. It probably doesn't seem like it's dragging on as long for you powerful people. Let's give you. I'll give you a Pekka Berry, Pecha Berry. I don't know which how you say it, but uh, since you're weak, since Togepeter is weak to poison types, I imagine they'll probably try to hit him with that with poison moves. Oops. Sorry, this is <laughs> so clumsy right now, powerful people. I'll give you. May I give you a Cherry Berry for the same reason? You're. It's extremely weak to electric types, so maybe they'll probably try to use that on you. And off we go, powerful people. Down Route 3 to Turf Field. That's what it's called, right? Turf Field? Pretty sure. Pretty sure. What do you want, dude? You don't want to fight? Oh, thanks, dude. Oh, yeah, that's the big pharma guy. He's trying to push, uh,. These pharmacological goods on me, if you can call them goods. I'm all natural, baby. That's what this that's what this run is all about. I'm not really all natural in my life, but in this run I am. Uh, I take medicine. <laughs> Straight up, I'm not ashamed to admit it. Um, dang it, I keep forgetting to move Pichu out of the front slot. But that's all right for now. Let's go ahead and bolt tackle. Quick attack? Come on, bruh. Here we go with the Volt Tackle. Dang, that wasn't enough to take you down, huh? Alright. Sweet Kiss. See what you think of that. What do you think of things of that sort? Get confused and hit yourself. Yes! Excellent. I love it. Very good, Sporkita. Boom. Level 7 and level 6. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Sweet Kiss. Speaking of which, Supersonic. They do the same thing. I think Sweet Kiss has much better accuracy, though. But I don't know that for sure. I don't know. I can check right now. Let's check it. Let's check it. Just so we know, right? Check summary. Uh, well, okay, 75, and then 55, yes, it is much better, it's still not good, I, I wouldn't even, it's not, not great, it's not even good, but it's a lot better than 55, that's for sure. Oh, powerful people. I mentioned the EV, the, the uh, abandoned, I didn't abandon it, I completed the entire thing, but I did the EV challenge. This girl beat me, shockingly enough. Uh, she has Panchen? I think, and EV like, got destroyed. Yeah, it is Panchen. EV had no answer for Panchen. <laughs> Until I grinded up a little bit. Dang it, powerful people, I keep forgetting to switch. I'm sorry! 
All right, Pancham girl. What is her name? Hannah? Schoolgirl Hannah, I believe. I trust me. She made quite an impression on me. Oh yeah, she kept circle throwing. Although that didn't make any difference. Well, I mean it did because it was really powerful and super effective against Eevee. But uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, it just messed me up really bad. It was not a good matchup. Um, I'll go with Scout. I guess it's part flying. Uh, at least resist circle throw. I'll go for a supersonic, I guess. Oh, you're already confused. Dang it. I didn't realize you were confused. That was dumb. Cool. <laughs> My bad. I guess I'll go for water gun. On the off chance that you hit yourself and don't kill me. Dang. That didn't happen. Down goes Scout. Oh, whoops. Um, I guess I'll just go to my boy Diocletian. I really didn't expect to like Toxel this much. <laughs> like, looking at its learn set, it's pretty sparse. You should check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, I don't think he learns any moves by level up. At all. I got some... I gave him power-up punch and metal sound as uh, egg moves. From uh, Lucario, I think. Or maybe from Hitmonchan? I don't remember. Um, yeah. I was not expecting to like him very much, but he's actually pretty cool. Uh, Power Punch is such a good move. I, the only thing, the worst thing about these, these baby mons is they're so squishy. Except a couple of them are pretty good. Munchlax, obviously, has got some bulk to him. A little heft. Diocletian gets in another power punch, but it's still not enough. This Pancham just refuses to go down. Diocletian gets the static off on him, and I think he's going to eat his berry. It's bad news for your team, schoolgirl Hannah. Bad news indeed. Now I can do this. I know it's not super effective or anything. Oh, you only have, you only have him, and you avoided it. Well, oh, great. That's just great. <laughs> That's just the greatest thing in the whole world. What if I talk like that all the time? What would you think of that, powerful people? What would you think of me? If that were the case. Togepi level. Oh, that's right. Scout fainted. I was like, why didn't Scout level up? Togepi learned life do. Schoolgirl Hannah. See, I told you. She has the blip bug uh, emblem on her cardigan. I think my wife would wear that that cardigan. A lot of people in this game rocking that look, huh? Maybe that girl had a blazer on, I don't know. But it was open. It wasn't buttoned up. Even though Schoolgirl Hannah's cardigan was buttoned up, so I guess that... Just disregard that. <clears throat> uh... <laughs> Superkid.exe is not responding. It's what probably just said on your screen. It didn't. I'm not going to edit that in. That joke has been done plenty of times without me doing it again. I'm going to stick Mantike in the front. That's what I'm going to do right now. Yes. Yes. Perfect. See, that was so easy. Why did I keep forgetting? No way of knowing, powerful people. No way to know. Who understands memory enough to know why we forget things, anyway? It's such a fascinating thing, powerful people. It's like way less reliable than we think it is. It's kind of weird. Whoa. Dang, there's a lot of Vulpix out here all of a sudden. What a difference one trip makes, huh? Is that Was that Vulpix, like, afraid of us? What in the world? There's nothing to fear here, dude. Except that we're gonna defeat you in a battle, but it's not like we're gonna kill you. What's up, baby? I tried to talk to it. To him. It? I tried to talk to it. Schoolboy Marvin. Marvin did not defeat us in the EV challenge. There was only one other trainer that beat me. 
maybe she was the only trainer that beat me at all, actually. She beat me a couple of times. I had a really hard time against that Pokemon. Um, let's go ahead and Supersonic you. If we can. Bud you goes for Absorb. That should be not very effective. Oh no, it's neutral. Sorry. Duh. Because we're part water. I'm going to try to do it again. What level is Bud you? Because you're like a seed, man. How fast can you be? Your boy here flies. Well, your girl here. Scout here. Does anybody watching this video remember what Scout's brother's name was in To Kill a Mockingbird? I know what it is. I'm not, a I I'm not asking because I don't know. I'm just trying to get you powerful people involved. Let me know. I read To Kill a Mockingbird when I was in high school. It was one of the best books I've ever read. I still, to this day, think that it is the best constructed plot of any book I've ever read. Um, there's like nothing, nothing wasted in that book. Everything happened for a reason. I remember feeling like, wow, they really tied everything up perfectly. Uh, but what was your, what is your favorite book if you're a big reader, Powerful People? Um, you may have had to read a book for school or something, but you may have liked it. I don't know. I really liked To Kill a Mockingbird. That was a great book. If you haven't read it, I recommend that you read it. It's really, really good. All right, enough of that. Let's go for a Metal Claw. Metallic Claw. Go for Absorb. It's all right. It's all right. I've seen worse. I've seen worse Marvin. Going for another Metal Claw. And then yet another Absorb. Okay. That's fine, dude. That's just fine. Just peachy. Third Metal Claw takes down Budu. Adios. Hey, what's up? Everybody... Oh, not everybody. A couple of people did not level up. Reggie wants to learn the move Block. Hmm... Nah. It's an interesting one, but I'm good. Gossifleur. Yeah, I'll switch. And power people, I will be right back. Okay. Sorry about that, even though it didn't really affect you at all. <laughs> I don't know why you would be upset. But I am sorry. How does that? Let's go for a metal sound. On this whole gossip fluer. Goes for rapid spin. Okay. Okay. That's alright. Metal sound. Goes for another rapid spin. Do the NPCs in this game like avoid using uh, not very effective moves whenever possible or something? It seems like they usually don't. Like this, this Pokemon has to have. Okay, there we go. There's an offensive grass type move. I was like, for real? You're not gonna use it? No, it's fine. It was just, I guess, a strange bug in the AI. Or a strange choice to make with the AI. Not necessarily a bug, I guess. Oh, I think I forgot to give Diocletian a berry. Dang, I gotta remember to do that between fights. That's a shame. There we go, it didn't even matter. Boom! What was I worried about? Learned wing attack, that's what I'm talking about. Got stabbed in both uh, typings now. Let's go ahead and give this to you. What's up, Sonya? What happens here? He went on ahead. I can't remember. She's telling something interesting. Oh yeah, she's just giving us a little background on 
Chairman Rose. I wonder if we'll go to that place at all in the expansions. Oh, she gives you the ec yes, the escape rope. That's such a good, that's such an awesome item in this game, especially. And she heals our team. Thank you. All right. So the way to turf field's a little long. That's all right. What's up, dude? guy is the most intense goatee ever. He's so thick. Oh, that's right. I like that this guy is Delibird. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess I'll go... I'll go to... S no, I'll go to Reggie. Yes. Reginald. Why, you ask? Because I want to try using, uh... Rock throw on you. I just want to do it. I just want to see what happens. Just trying to see what happens. Another present. It would be cool if you healed me with it. That would have been fun. Kapow, dude. That's what I thought would happen. Down goes Delibird. Nice. 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 <laughs> Down goes Postman Tad. Can I get into another fight before the timer goes off, Powerful People? Can I do it? Can it be done? Uh, I'm running, trying to get in a fight. Yeah. All right, I'm going to cancel the timer. We got 10 seconds left, so. Now that we're in a fight, we know that at the end of this battle, we'll wrap things up, all right? First, we gotta defeat Schoolboy Peter, though. Sizzlipede! This guy's pretty cool. I like him. Scout is a very good matchup against this guy, though. Not, not very worried about Scout. Goes for the wing attack. Dang! Ember? Now let's try a water gun, see which one's more effective. See which one does more damage to this. Pretty close to the same, it looked like. Bite. All right. All right, one more wing attack for good measure, huh? How about that? How'd that be? That'd be great. Looks like. Looks like it would be just fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dotler. No, I will not switch. That's another bug type. I'm just gonna let Scout get a little bit of experience. How does that sound to you? With a wing attack. Dotler's pretty uh, defensive though. Struggle bug. It's a pretty good move. Didn't do much for you there. Well, that's not wonderful for me. Oh, that's a physical move. Perfect. Perfect! Let's see if I can confuse you. No? Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna eat my berry. I think. Unless I didn't give you one. Oh, I gave you the uh, paralysis berry. That's right. That's right. Super effective. Goes for confusion. Okay. It's less than ideal. Um. I'll go for another wing attack, I suppose. Great. This is light screen. Okay. It doesn't really help you against my wing attack. Mm -hmm. Ah, dang it. I thought you were maybe gonna do some other silliness. Oh, wow! We survive! Excellent! We survive and hit you with a final wing attack. All right. There we go. Scout wants to learn water pulse. Yeah, I'll forget an old move. Get rid of tackle. Water pulse can confuse as well. Nice. 
this challenge is going to be very interesting to for people. I've never, I never really play, I never, definitely never play with baby Pokemon. It's going to be really cool and and fun, interesting. Harshly lowers the attack stat. Um, so I guess I'll get rid of Growl then, because it's just a better version of Growl. Reggie grew to level 14, and we defeated schoolboy Peter. Peter. Alright. Let's go ahead and save the game real quick. And, if you're not new to the channel, and I don't- I can't believe I forgot myself last time, but if you're not new, you know that I like to wrap things up here in the Pokemon camp. It's real nice, and you just get to- you to relax. I don't have to worry about a wild Pokemon coming up and running into me or anything. And it's just fun. You get to see the squad. You get to see them in there. You know, in their element, out of the Pokeball and all that. It's, it's fun. I like it. Look at look at Togepeater over there. Look how cute he is. Anyways, the, the game has been saved. The timer would have gone off if I hadn't stopped it prematurely. Although we did get extra time. And the controller's out of my hands. We're here in the Pokemon camp. And you know what that means, powerful people? It means that before anything else... Please, since you made it all the way to the end of the video, go ahead and like this video. You obviously liked it. And, uh, I know everybody needs a little reminder to do that sometimes. Just go ahead and like it. It's a huge help to me. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you know when we put out more videos. And as always, please leave any and all comments you have for me in the comment section below. Check out, check out Scout there. That was cool how she just kind of flew into the frame and then back out. I really enjoyed it. Anyways, powerful people, I know that you're probably ready to move on to the next video to binge, so I'll keep it short and sweet. Um, be patient with each other. Uh, kind of a little bit of a exchange with some people at my house this morning, and I think everybody's just starting to feel the craziness of what's going on in the world, like, a lot right now, and uh, I'm not immune to that, and sometimes I fall short of the advice that I give in these videos, and I feel dishonest if I don't own, it up, up, own up to that every, at least every now and then. I, I'm not telling you guys every mistake I make, but today I felt especially bad because I know that everybody is just trying to do their best, and things are worrisome and crazy for everyone, so I, uh, the people that I'm talking about know who, I, who they are, and I hope they know that I love them very much, and uh, I hope that the people in your lives know that too, powerful people. It's easy to lose sight of how important the other people in your in our lives are, especially when the sky feels like it's falling around us. So just be patient and kind with one another, powerful people, and stay safe. On behalf of everybody here at Snake Feathers, my name is Eli, aka Super Kid, aka Clint Swift, aka the Man in Zebra Print Headband, aka Mama. There goes that Man in Zebra Print Headband. Shout out to Mark Jackson, saying thank you so much for watching. Peace and love. <laughs>